how to customize sense theme on shopify hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can customize the sense theme on shopify so let's get into it now using the dawn theme can seem a bit repetitive as a lot of people are using the dawn theme and sometimes you just want something a bit unique for your store well, you can go on ahead and purchase a lot of premium themes. You don't necessarily have to with the Sense theme. The Sense theme is a free to use theme that you can access in your Shopify store. So let's get started with customization of our Shopify store and let's get into how you can customize the Sense theme to make it your own. Now to get started, simply log on to your Shopify store. Once you go into your Shopify store, you want to go into themes over here and you are going to scroll down. Now, once you scroll down, you will see popular free themes. And if you just scroll on this, you will see the sense theme present here. So you want to click on add and this will add it into your library. So once this has been added to your theme library, you can go on ahead and start editing your store accordingly. So you have two options when you're doing this. You can firstly build your theme or build, you know, the sense theme first and then choose to publish it or you can directly publish it and then customize as you go. This really depends on the stage. If your store is currently under construction and is password protected, you can choose to publish. However, if you have an active store that you're already selling product on and you have customers, then let your sense theme remain in the theme library and then click on customize all of your customizations would be applied once you publish the store now this is our default view in the sense theme to get started i always like to go into the themes basic settings which you can find on the left panel over here once you go into this left panel click on logo and upload your logo file if you don't have a logo already, you can easily design it with Canva and we have a couple of videos on that as well. So check those out if you want to know more about that. Now, once you scroll down, you will see a favicon. Now, some people might not know what a favicon is. Well, a favicon is the icon that appears on your tab. So whenever you open a new tab in Chrome or any other browser, you have a smaller version of your icon. That is the favicon image, which is usually just a more concise version of your icon. Now we're just going to place this over here. I'm going to increase the width of my desktop logo like so. Now you can click on edit over here to add a focal point. You can also, you know, change the level of your logo. So if you want your logo to focus on a specific part, if it's an image, then you can do that as well with the focal point. Now I'm going to scroll down and our second section in our theme settings is colors. So in this, you can set up your own color schemes. There are some pre-existing color schemes within every template and you can build your own as you go. These color schemes can be then applied to each individual section. For example, take this section over here. I can click on this section within my Shopify store and you will see the color scheme on the left panel once you scroll down. From here, I can click on change and I can choose an alternate color scheme. And this way you can build your own customized color scheme and you can apply it to your own sections the way that you prefer them to be laid out. Now, after that, you will also see a bunch of different options in your theme settings. Now, I primarily like to only set up the first three, which are logo, colors, and typography. Typography is the font or the universal font that is applied onto your website. So you can choose to customize the appearance of your fonts from here as well. I personally like the fonts that are within this sense theme. However, if you want to customize those, you can click on change over here and you have two basic types of fonts. You have the heading fonts and then the body fonts. So I'm going to change the heading fonts over here and you can click on load more and you can pick out any font that you want. We're just going to scroll a little to show you guys the different options that you have. So let's say I want to choose this one over here. And once you do that, click on select on the bottom right, and then you can choose the body font as well. So let's say I want this one, and then I can just select that from here. Now, once you have done that, you're going to go back into sections on the top left. Now, this is our homepage, and you will see on the top panel, 
you have the option to alternate to a different page to begin editing. But I like to start with the home page because it's the first page that any of your customers will be seeing. Now this is our header. If you click on the header on the top, you will see the menu that will be displayed. Now you can click on remove menu if you want a clean header and no header menus. However, menus are pretty important. So I'm going to insert a main menu or you can even click on create menu to build your own menu as you go. Now you have two options for your menu types. If you want it to be a drop down, a mega menu or a drawer menu. So let's say this is our basic menu, which is a drop down menu. This will show every item that is going to be dropped down. Then you have the mega menu and then you have a drawer menu. The drawer menu is when a icon is apparent on your header. However, only until customers click on the icon will they see all the options. I personally really like the style currently, so I'm going to apply it. After that, you have the sticky header. So if you want to apply the sticky header where the header follows the person as they scroll, you can choose that as well. I personally don't like that, so I'm going to remove that from here. Now after that, we have our main color scheme for our header. I can click on change to further customize this as well. And we also have the main color scheme over here. If we apply this one, I don't think this looks good. This one looks nice, so I'll use this. Now after that, we have our second section, which is an image with text section in the sense theme. So to customize this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and select an image. You can click on add images to upload your own product images. Let's say for us, this image is this one. And I am just going to upload our image to begin and then just click on done to insert that image. Now, this is a pretty tall image, so I want to customize the size a bit. So I'm going to go into the image height and click on small. And then you guys can see it has changed the height. Now you will see the desktop image placement. So if you want the image on the right or if you want the text on the right, I'm going to put the image second and then I'm going to go with the height to be medium. I, I think I'm going to go with large. I think that looks better and the image height to be medium. Now after that, you can click on edit and you can add a focal point of your image. So let's say this is the focal point. However, if your image is still not appearing accordingly, you can click on edit once more and add your focal point slightly above your perceived focal point. And this will move your image to the perfect position. Once you've done that, you will see you also have the color scheme for the background of this particular section. So let's say I want to build this in purple. Let's do that. And now I'm going to click on this text section and we're going to change the text like so. And now I'm going to click on the text over here and I'm going to make it a medium size maybe. And let's say that I want it to, I'm going to customize this slightly. So going into this, I think I have to go with the smaller size so it looks better. But if I remove some of the text from here, like this, I can go with a larger size, like so. Now, once we've done this, we have customized our first page. To further add more sections, we can click on Add Section to add our own unique sections to further make our homepage more elaborative. This can include information about your brand, any latest collection, featured products, bestsellers, maybe any item that celebrities have been spotted with, any promotions, all of that can be inserted from here. Once you've completed that, simply click on save on the top right and that is all you have to do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.